everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Alice and please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. If you're not new, welcome back to my channel. So for today's recipe, I wanted to share with you a must have during the Easter holidays. And I'm talking about Colomba Pasquale or basically uh, Italian is Easter cake that's kind of like the translation colomba in italian means dove so it's the shape that this cake resemble that's why we call it colomba and also is like a symbol of christianity uh but this recipe has nothing to do with that we just make it because it's super delicious and i love it so much so the only thing about this recipe that it's a little tricky it's that it's very time consuming there's a lot of like time that you have to let the dough rise and that gives the dough the fluffiness and the lightest dough that you can possibly get in a homemade Colomba. It's a, like a brioche type of dough, but not really because it tastes better. It has orange, vanilla, it has like a, like an almond glaze on top. It's so, so, so delicious. You probably saw it in the store already, but enough rambling because this recipe is going to be pretty, pretty lengthy. So let's get to the ingredients. And so for this recipe, the ingredients that you're going to need are milk, flour, dry yeast and sugar first thing you're gonna put the dry yeast into a bowl then you're gonna add the sugar the flour and the warm milk and you mix all together with a fork then you're gonna cover it with plastic wrap or like myself with a lid and you're gonna place it in a warm spot of the house for a couple hours or until it double its size. After you activate your yeast, it's time to get your ingredients for the first dough. And what you're gonna need is water, the activated yeast, egg, room temperature butter, sugar, and flour. Then you're gonna grab your mixing bowl and you're gonna start add all your ingredients. You're gonna start with your flour, sugar, the activated yeast, and the egg. And you're gonna put your hook utensil and while it's mixing, you're gonna add your warm water. stage you're gonna add your room temperature butter you're gonna add one cube at a time and you're gonna wait until the first cube is well absorbed before you add the following one once you're done mixing all your ingredients together you're gonna transfer your dough into a bowl you are gonna cover it with plastic wrap or with a lid and you're gonna let it rise until it double its size and it's gonna take approximately three to four hours in a warm spot of the house after that i'm gonna show you how i make the rest of the recipe so these are the ingredients that you're gonna need for your second dough you're gonna need your first dough that you let rise flour vanilla powder or vanilla extra, butter, orange zest, eggs, sugar, and candied orange peel. First things you wanna do in your mixing bowl, you're gonna pour your first dough, then you're gonna add your sugar, then you're gonna add a full egg and an egg yolk, but don't throw away the egg white because we're gonna use it for the glaze. And then you're gonna start adding one tablespoon of flour at a time while it's mixing. Now it's time to add your orange zest, the candied orange peel, and the vanilla powder. Now 
Now it's time to add your room temperature butter right here. And again, you're gonna add one cube at a time and wait until the first one is well absorbed before you add the second one. Once you're done mixing all your ingredients together, this is the result. And what you wanna do, you're gonna cover it with plastic wrap and you're gonna place it in a warm spot of the house and you're gonna let it rise until it doubles size and it will take approximately three hours. After that, I'm gonna show you the rest of the step for this beautiful Colomba. After you let your dough rise, this is the result. Now it's time to place your dough into your container. And what you want to do is to, you're going to dust a little bit of flour on your surface. Then you're going to grab your dough. Then you're going to dust a little bit of flour on the surface as well. And then you're going to divide it into parts. You're going to flat your dough. And then you're gonna roll it. And you're gonna do the same thing with the other dough. Then you're gonna grab your paper container. And you're gonna place one of the half in the center. And you're gonna press down to even it up. And then the other part is gonna go right in the middle. Then you're gonna cover it with plastic wrap and you're gonna let it rise until it reach the surface. Now it's time to make the glaze for your Colomba. And what you're gonna need is egg white, icing sugar, almonds, and almond essence. So first things you wanna do, you wanna pour your almond into the blender. And then you're gonna add your icing sugar. And then you're gonna blend the two together. Then you're gonna add the egg white and a couple drop of almond essence. And then you're gonna blend everything together until it's well combined. All right, guys, this is the result after I let my Colomba rise for the last time. Now it's time to top it with a glaze. Here I have my almond glaze. And also after I put the almond glaze, I'm gonna top it with some almonds and also some sugar sprinkles. That's the tradition. So we're gonna first start putting our glaze over top. Now you're gonna place some almonds. And some sugar sprinkles. my colomba it's ready to go in the oven at 325 fahrenheit for about 50 minutes but make sure that after 15 minutes you cover the surface with aluminum and foil to prevent from getting too dark over top and after that i'm gonna be back for the best part the taste test After 15 minutes, you're gonna open the oven and you're gonna place a piece of aluminum foil on the surface and you're gonna finish it to cook your Colomba that way so it doesn't get too much color on the top. All right, you guys, this is the result after baking for 50 minutes. Now you're gonna have to let it cool down and after that, we're gonna be back for the best part, the taste test. All right, you guys, my Colomba is finally ready. I literally bake it for 50 minutes. And as you can see in the video, after 15 minutes, I cover it with a little bit of aluminum foil to prevent from the surface to get too, too dark because the glaze is made entirely mostly of sugar and that caramelizes it really, really quickly. And by the time that the Colomba finished to cook, it will be burned. So make sure you cover the surface of your Colomba. And as you can see, it's beautiful, it's glorious. Look how fantastic it looks. It's so tall, it came out of the um, container. And as you can see, I use those type of container that you can find on Amazon. 
anywhere. It's super, super cheap. I think mine came in a pack of 10, so I can make a lot of cologne by now. <laughs> but yeah, it was so much fun. As you can see, it was a little time consuming, but if you follow all the steps, Trust me, it's gonna be so, so easy. And in the meantime that you're waiting for your Colombo to rise, you can do whatever you need to do. <laughs> so enough rambling, I wanted to show you what it looks on the inside. So I'm gonna slice it right in the middle so you can see the center and how glorious it is. And also I forgot to mention that if you don't like uh, um, lemon and orange candied zest, the one that I put inside, you can substitute it with uh, chocolate chip cookies or also you can just leave it be like plain. It will taste delicious as, as well. So the smell, it's fantastic. I cannot wait to dig in. So let's cut a slice. guys I just saw it okay make sure you let it cool down completely because otherwise it's not gonna be possible look how beautiful it looks it's so beautiful it's so nice the smell oh it's fantastic it's like it basically smells the same as the one that you buy in the store but this one it would taste so much better because you make it yourself and it looks psycho with this knife like like this but yeah you make it yourself and it's so so delicious and as you can see it looks it's so nice and light and fluffy and i lost a piece and mm, oh my god wow mm. it's so soft I literally melt in your mouth. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. The glaze and the almonds on the top, it gives it a nice crunch, which is fantastic. Mm. I love the glaze so, so much. Mm -mm -mm. See this Colomba? The Colomba is a type of dessert that has all different texture. You have the softening of the dough, the crunchy on the surface, and like kind of the chewiness from the candied orange zest that we have in the inside. So, so good. Mmm. Mmm. I know I literally destroyed this Colomba, but I am so, so happy. Look how beautiful. It looks, it tastes delicious. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're gonna make a Colomba and you wanna share your picture with me, don't forget to tag me at Alice Contesini. I'm gonna leave it right here and also in the description box down below. You can also find all the measurement and the ingredients in the description box down below as well as my Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok page. So don't forget to check it out. And until next time, I'll see you soon, my beautiful people. Happy Easter! Bye.